Yo, welcome to my nightmare. This thing out of the swamp. Carp it out. Trying to get the mud out. There's some I ain't got out yet. After I washed it out with the hose pipe in here. Found a little surface rust over here bubbling up. Scratching at the bubbles. You can see the Rust back off. There ain't no holes anywhere, luckily. Bubbled up. I first got this car. I had to put a windshield in it. Once I cut it out, I could see where it had, had like three windshields already been put in it. Come to find out behind this trim with the roof line and the A pillars soldered together up there. It was a Big hole right there on the side. So the windshield wasn't even leaking. It was running down the A-pillar. Coming inside the car, and that's probably from the factory like that. Poor old car. Better's not hooked up. I could turn the headlights on. This car's only got 75,000 miles. Well, poor boy had some rust. Pretty much get it all off. A little bit back here too in spots. Try to get every bit of it off as I could. Scratching and sanding. I only got most all of it up. I see there's a few spots over here I probably wouldn't hurt. To... This is what I was dealing with. These bubbled up spots. Just under it. I'm right here at it. I might as well get all this crap. Well, this side was nowhere near as bad. And a few little bubbled up spots. I'll pop some of this sound deadening off. Found some more mud. I'm still wet. Got mud all the way up here. She obviously went over the damn hump of the tunnel. It got pretty deep. I kind of see a water line back there. Probably get on the rest of this little bit of rust. Basically just surface rust. I suppose she'd take it off pretty easy. I got this side I suppose, and all the little pits. I went over them with a die grinder with a carbide bit. Try to get all the rust off. This shit don't come back. Got a, got a smell to this stuff. Pretty strong smelling, so definitely need to do it outdoors. Got some good ventilation. Up close, you can see this. It's just wiping on the surface rust, basically right off. Condition in the middle and at the same time. See it beating on its rust. It takes a lot off. Probably just go back with regular paint, but I got some poor 15 over here that's basically gonna go bad if it don't get used, so it's probably just enough left in the can to knock this out. Hopefully. Once I get this done, I'll go back over it with some uh, metal prep. And it'll look like that. Take glaze on it. Look at this side, ain't nowhere near as bad as the oven. Rust pits everywhere. Worst looking spot right here on this side. Let's see the other side. <laughs> Three days to get all the bubbles popped and cleaned. And I don't have to 
to do this ever again. I'm definitely not gonna let my car get flooded again. This has been one long, tedious process. Taking the seats apart, taking the carpet out, taking the whole damn car apart to get the carpet out. Now a pain in the ass. It's getting there. Slowly but surely. So 4.15. Barely some minute. You can't even get the lid off this seat drives. Oof. It seems rough. Don't tell it just enough. Yeah, my brush is getting dummy. Get down on me. Well, ain't the prettiest in the world. It don't matter. Don't be on the carpet. Carpet. Yeah. I got the naked spots. Yes. Covered. That's his dress. I need to get a little bit right there. I'll come back over it with this old Ford blue. It's closest I got to this blue that was already here. Make it, make it back pretty. Best I can anyways. It's going to aggravate pain in the ass. Well. I need any more rest. I'll let this thing hair out. Start putting this, put it back together. Plugs and all back in the floor. Seal back up. Got a few stains. To be expected. To be Thirty years old. Let me try to clean it once I get it set in here. Right. Seal a bit. 